am Puneet. Welcome to the demonstration program on how to use smart class facility. Uh, I request the university librarian Dr. M. Pape sir to welcome the gathering. Good morning everybody. I welcome you all for this demonstration program on how to use smart class facilities. I welcome our below chief guest Dr. K. C. Nagan Swami sir, Director of Education, who has made it a valuable time to attend the demonstration program. I heartily welcome you, sir. <laughs> it's a privilege to welcome the most active and dynamic and the personality president, Dr. N. B. Prakash sir, Dean sir, and welcome, sir. I heartily welcome to all the faculty who are present here and I wish everyone to make use of these smart class facilities effectively. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I request our chief guest, uh, Dr. Naran Swami, sir, Director of Education, USB, to address the gathering. Good morning to the people of you. Uh, my dear colleague, uh, Dr. M. D. Prakash, Dean and Lee College of Law. Agriculture, TKVK, uh, University Librarian Dr. Pape Goda, then uh, assistant librarians uh, in the University Library, former uh, University Librarian Dr. Srinivas, and other staff members, and also my dear colleagues from my different departments, and also I think I believe uh, uh, the, I think other colleagues from different uh, campuses are also connected to this. Eh? Okay. So, uh, once again, I welcome you to this small uh, an inaugural session. Uh, for, I mean, today's program is, uh, I think, uh, it is scheduled as how to use the smart classroom facilities. In fact, you know, we are in the, in the era of uh, high-worth internet of things, era of uh, artificial intelligence, era of uh, uh, then uh, machine learning, blockchain technology, etc., etc. See, in fact, uh, see, already we have crossed the era of computers. We have already crossed the computer era of computers. Now we have entered into the new era of uh, artificial intelligence. In fact, the university is very kind enough to establish the smart classrooms in all campuses, teaching campuses. In fact, uh, we have established six classrooms in Asan campus, three classrooms in uh, Mandya campus, two smart classrooms in GKUK campus. I think we have also more than half a dozen of uh, classrooms, and also uh, you know, one classroom at uh, I mean, Chamraj Nagara campus. We have uh, established all these for the benefit of uh, the faculty members and also for the benefit of students for qualitative and also. Enhanced learning the process, enhanced learning process. In fact, uh, see, you know, so there is a lot of difference between the smart classroom and also the traditional or conventional classroom. In fact, the smart classroom, it enhances technology enabled qualitative learning continuously, constantly uh, with, uh, I mean, the modern, uh, you can say, tools and also modern facilities, modern facilities. It helps you do the interaction among the, the faculty and also the students so that there will be a, I mean, uh, the good interactive sessions in the classrooms and also there will be, I mean, uh, the, there is a usage of a lot of animated figures, the videographs, photographs, and also sometimes we can in, incorporate uh, real time, uh, I mean, diagnostic skills, particularly identification of tests and diseases through artificial intelligence or any other tools and also uh, through the android based uh, applications in fact uh, this is actually again has a uh, different apps and uh, this is also an android supportive classroom i mean uh, the led screen so it acts as a see our mobile phones it acts as a pocket classroom so if this is actually uh, i mean uh, the very powerful tool especially for the modern I mean teaching technology. So and also, so we can access the online information through this. We can, uh, I mean, log into any website, we can browse the literature, 
So in front of the students, we can, I mean, download the, I mean, photographs, we can download the interactive videos and other useful videos, particularly the videos which are helpful for teaching, especially in the field of agriculture. So that, uh, I mean, uh, the students can have the first-hand information so that they can see all the process so that they can learn effectively because seeing this, I mean, believe it. So this is the one thing and uh, then this is the, I mean, uh, you can say this is also an eco-friendly, I mean, uh, the method of teaching because we are not using any chalk, we are not using any printing material or paper. So this enables, so the, I mean, uh, the, I mean, the paperless, or the chartless, chartless tree, I mean, the teaching process. So again, so this is a, this one. And also, the, it helps in connectivity among the different campuses. So we can, uh, I mean, uh, they teach this to, I mean, a particular chapter for a particular specialty area from this campus across the different campuses when such a particular, I mean, especially the teachers are not available in the campuses. So, so kindly, I mean, uh, so you have been uh, identified the purpose of imparting the skills on operating this, I mean, uh, the facility that is classroom uh, gadgets or uh, smart classroom gadgets so that you have to train your own colleagues in your respective departments in this direction. So kindly, so I think uh, this is a one day program. So practice yourself and everything is touch screen. So finger touch screen and also there is a pen also. You can choose both the ways, practice it. And even if it is wrong, please practice it. Because so most of the times if you commit to the, I think mistakes, you know, definitely we will rectify ourselves and uh, these things. And uh, Puneet will be there, Papa Goda will be there, Sinan Sar will also be there. So all the lecturers staff will be available. So with the help of them, acquaint yourself why we are actually this one. In the South Black, we have, I think, uh, uh, four or five classrooms like this. In fact, in a phrased manner, in the larger departments, wherever large PG, I mean, uh, I mean courses are the PG students are there, from those departments, we would like to upgrade the classrooms even at the department level, particularly for teaching the, I mean, uh, the PG, PG classes, for teaching the purpose of PG classes. Kindly become the masters. And also, I request all of you to, I mean, train your own faculty members in respective departments. So with this, in fact, uh, uh, I, would, uh, I would like to know, I think I mentioned another important point is, you know, as per the NEP 2020, I mean, recommendations and also BSMA recommendations, we have to impart skills among these students. So this is the... I mean, one of the examples for important the skills, and we may have to educate the students nearly to the extent of 20% by using the smart, I mean, facilities as per the NEP recommendations. So we have to cover 20% of the syllabus through this technique. So kindly make use of these facilities, and see, this is just like uh, I mean, uh, the, how we operate. Uh, our mobile phones, but this is only extended or the enlarged format of our smart mobile phones, smart mobile phones. So with this, I congratulate the librarian and their staff members for uh, timely organizing a very, I mean, uh, the, I mean, a powerful and also very apt uh, training program in this regard. So once again, so I thank Rune and Hall for giving them the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, <clears throat> now I request Rajin Nagri, College of Agriculture, Chief Minister Bangalore, Dr. M.B. Prakash, sir, to give the president your remarks. Good morning, everyone. Respected Dr. K. C. Ramaswan, sir, for the director of education, Dr. Papa Yoda, so the library. And also the resource person, Dr. Leon, as I heard. Where is he? Yes, I yes. Okay. yes Thank you. And all my colleagues. So starting from assistant professors to professors. Maybe many of them have things in their mind. Why we are almost in another couple of years will be returning and calling for this kind of a training program. So while receiving the names of 
two persons each from individual department. So we have the list of 20 departments, so 40 participants are here, starting from assistant professors to professors here. But the training program is very, very apt. It was uh, actually it was planned by us, but uh, good that the uh, librarian is implementing it and how to use the smart classroom facilities. See, the word smart itself indicates we need to be extra smart while delivering the lectures in front of either the UG or PG students. We need to be more smart. So smart class facility to be utilized, we need to be very, very smart. Otherwise, we become ugly in front of all the audience, whether it is a student group or any participants. So if we do not learn the techniques of these facilities which are available and properly utilizing them in a proper forum and the, the, the kind of audience in front of us, it becomes still more ugly. This is what I feel. Because I just would like to narrate the incidences, what is actually happened and happening in the campus. As our DOE said, the facilities in the university is extending from one unit, which was only in GKVK campus with a smart classroom funded from NAHEP. Now it is extending into all the campuses. I just would like to narrate it, what is actually happening in the GKVK campus. We started introducing for the first time, that too for first year agree students, all the three sections to utilize the smart board facilities, LH3, 5 and 6. So all the students who are teaching the first year classes were supposed to use the classrooms as facilitated with the smart board activity. And of course, as you know it very well, first semester, first courses and we always impose them senior most teacher need to offer the courses. We got the feedback. Many of the teachers were not in a position to use the facilities in spite of training by our NHCP team. They were given the training to use it. In case of any difficulties, kindly approach them for facilitating, facilitating them with very good suggestion to the students also. In spite of that, I do not want to say the names of the teachers because it is all known to you. We don't want to use it. We are in the verge of retiring. We don't want to use it. Even after the completion of the course, now they are all writing the exams, all first year students. Teachers did mention, I don't want to use it. So blackboard facility is very, very important. That is the most important one, the best way of communicating things. See, smart board facilities or smart class facilities are technology enhanced systems, mainly bringing it as a bridge between teacher as well as a learner. So under such situation, we need to improve. When the extra facilities are there, we need to incorporate all such things in our day-to-day -day life as a teacher, whether he teaches the actual courses or a presenter, presenting the research output or any kind of things which can happen. So in that sense, in that sense, we need to be very, very smart. So for that aspect, uh, aspect also, I just would like to address what actually happened in the classrooms. See, when a teacher is not utilizing the facilities which are available, with almost all the functions, features, as our DOE said, there is a way of erasing it immediately, using the change of pens, colors, and then storing it, downloading it, uploading it, all such aspects, if you do not learn it properly, you really feel very, very sorry in front of the students. So whether it is a blackboard teaching or smartboard teaching, students are start really restless. They really show dissatisfaction. This has happened to me since all of you are teachers, my own colleagues, I need to narrate this one. The reason is simple. So just one and a half month back, all those students who have joined as first years approached me with their complete signatures of almost all Stating that, sir, our eyes are coming so damaged. Our, we are all getting headache. So we don't want smart board facility. These were the letters which we received from them. Then what happened? The next day, I, I did not meet them. I saw the letter. Next day, morning, they all came. So at around 9.30, stating, sir, we have submitted a letter. So please switch over to Blackboard facility. And even teachers are also not comfortable. We are also not comfortable because our uh, health issues are there. I said, you please come at 4 o'clock. All six of them representing the class came there. And I just uh, discussed with them. The thing happened is, 
I just ask them to show their mobiles. See, you are not very versatile in using your mobiles. Take out your screen time. So, there were some of them who were not knowing what is their screen time. They started showing it. One person got how to know it. Second person came to know how to use to know this. Since morning, so the students' range of utilizing the smart, the smart uh, mobile system is ranging from one hour to four hours. One hour to four hours just at the time of four o'clock. In the sense, by looking at your mobiles, your eyes are not damaged, your headache is not there. And you say just by looking at the smart board for a period of two hours, you are telling, so your health is deteriorated. So that becomes, that becomes an issue and they said the reasons are plenty. They started narrating. Sir, so many a times the smart boards are not properly been utilized. This is what the feedback from the reason for that is not because of headache or other eye damage or other, other aspects. It is because of maybe some of them are not properly utilizing the smart facility. So uh, this is, since this is a in-house and all of you are my colleagues, I'm just narrating it. So with this particular thing and mainly with an intention that all of us need to be very smart by utilizing the smart, smart classroom facilities. And in this regard, and uh, our university has uh, really given the opportunity to uh, librarian and his staff to organize this event. And this particular training for a period of two, three hours, he has uh, mentioned it, to be utilized judiciously. Of course, in a span of two hours, so you can have some kind of a theoretical aspect. But please try to have hands-on experience. Use it. There is a lot of future available. Even I need to learn a lot from that. So because of my uh, stop gap arrangements of the position, what I am having, so I cannot utilize the services right now. But there is a lot of future which is available. Please utilize it. Judiciously attend this particular meeting and also appoint the knowledge. I thank once again the organizer and benefiting, uh, timely choosing the topic and uh, the audience also. And please utilize the services. I wish all the very best. And please keep your tempo and interest common and acquired knowledge. I wish you all the very best. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, now I request the student librarian, Dr. Sukhita, sir, to give the word of thanks. Good morning to all. From the famous quotation by Philip Collins In learning, you will teach, and in teaching, you will learn. A smart teacher will inspire hopes ignite the imagination and instills the love of learning. Remember the end of the blackboard, a class without a blackboard is like a teacher without hands. Blackboard is the best friend of a teacher. Skills of using smart board is much more useful than blackboard in concern with cleaning before and after use. Smart board is a visual aid used used by a teacher to present the content matter effectively, meaningfully and systematically during the teaching. With this, dignitaries on the dais and the after dais, it, is, it gives me immense pleasure to propose vote of thanks. I would like to thank our beloved Director of Education, Dr. K.C. Narayan Swami sir, who graced us with uh, his thought-provoking address and uh, provide an opportunity to conduct this training program. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I wholeheartedly thank you, our Dean Agri, Dr. N.B. Prakash, sir, who accepted our invitation and uh, who, was, who have graciously consented to be a president to this today's program. I thank Dr. Pape Goda, University Librarian, who have supported, guided, us and conduct this training program. On behalf of the all the staff of University Library and my own behalf, I extend our grateful thanks to today's delegate participants who are deputed from various departments of the university and who are joining virtually to this uh, training program. And uh, I extend uh, my thanks to on behalf of our university library and UASB, I extend our grateful thanks to all new digital solutions for deputing resource persons giving demonstration program on how to use the smart class facilities. Finally, my grateful thanks to all officers 
library staff of our university for their whole hearted support to organize this training program. Thank you, Unnan Dal. She really loving. So happy that uh, uh, my name is Leon. Okay, I am from the company called uh, Spectrum. I will be going to uh, Redmond to the demo session. It might take half an hour, 45 minutes to one hour. I'll be going in a small float. I hope so the end people can hear me. Yeah, because this mic is only I'm using is for the Zoom. I think so somebody else is connecting. Sorry. So uh, it's all over, right? Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, I'll be going to a small flow, like not uh, tools by tools by tools. So if anybody wants to stop me in between, I can always do so. Or if I want any doubts, any queries to be answered, you can always stop me in between, no problem. Or might be at the end of the sessions, you'll have more queries on how to use this board and everything. You can always do so. And after the session, I will request like you know, any of your, any one of your, or two of your one can come and use the board. So since I'm here, I can at least help you all like, you know, to see where you all are standing. I think after all, you all are more educated than me. Nothing that I can tell most. Yes, as they informed everything, like you no, know, this is nothing but there are two forms. One is almost like your smartphone itself. How you can use, how you are using your smartphone. It is as user friendly like that. But only thing, yes, we ask whether alarm will ring and can do sorts of things. Yeah, this LED will not do that. But apart from that, it is almost like your smartphone. It's a touch features enabled. It's like, you know, you can do everything what you do in your smartboard. One more thing I would like to you know, inform you all is, like, you know, most I tell you, in fact, I've been giving a lot of trainings to everybody. Like, you know, most of the teachers or like, you know, professors, everything, they think that, yes, this replaces them. But let me guarantee you, Nothing can replace a teacher or a professor. Nobody can do it. Yes, this can do additional features to that. In the sense, you know, for something, no, sir, we'll only play the video and everybody sing. We don't have any work to be done. It's nothing like that. Yes, a teacher is required there. And like how she uses the smart board, it all depends on each individual. I, I, I keep telling everybody, the more closer you are, you all are to this panel, that's for, so fast you all can really learn it. And it's a vast tool to be used. Okay, that is one thing. And the second thing I will uh, like you to tell you, like, you know, this is a very, very, very useful tool. In the sense, it helps you all a lot. It's either, it's not like a blackboard, which yes, like, you know, most of you are very used to blackboard and marker board and everything. But this can do much better than that. In the sense, say if it's a blackboard or a marker board, if in case we are written everywhere, 3 by or whatever, 6 by 4 size or 7 by 5 size, if it are written everywhere, if you want to write again, you'll have to erase it and again start writing. But this panel can give better features than that as I'm showing out, you all have to know about it. Where you all don't have to like not erase anything, you can always save it. And again, might be the next class, again open the same file and start using your class. You can save it in different formats where you can keep it for every like not quarterly for revisions or might be every year or might be the next academic year. So I can spend more time on like not just doing practical or like not more than theory, I can do practical things with, with the students. Okay, so this is called the interactive panel, which we call all in one solution. We call it all in one solution is because you all have seen the electron conversional method, which you allow an interactive board or a screen or a projector. Then you'll have to have the uh, technology desktop and then you'll have to have speakers and everything. But this one is an all in one solution. In the sense, when I say all in one solution, no need for a projector, no need for a board, no need for speakers. Everything is inbuilt in this. Even the computer is inbuilt in this one. Okay, and this is a 4K panel. Then I would like to, uh, one more thing I would like to tell you all is, like even the server was telling, like, you know, the team server was telling, how they were trying to tell, like, you know, it is hurting your eyes, or it is headache, everything. I'll tell you honestly, it's nothing like that. This is a 4K panel. It's an anti-glare panel. It's even a 170 degree view, and you sit at this corner also, or if you even standing so close for 8 hours also, and you also you will not, uh, like, you will not have eyes effect or something like that or you will not have headache and everything, okay? At certain level, I tell you, all these are, like, no, I can say unbreakable. It's at certain level anti glare It's at certain level scratch proof and everything. I'll just show you all them. When I say it's at certain level unbreakable, you see, I'm standing here. I can hit it like this way. I know I'm your professor and so on. I'm showing it to you, but for students, I don't do this. At certain level, it is unbreakable, okay? But yes, if I ask you, like, now if I take a stone and try to hit it on this, obviously, the glass will crack. Okay? And at certain level, it is scratch proof also because even if I can write it on my like, no, finger, ring or like, no, might be bangle or chain, 
you all care like not scratch proof as well. But yes, by take a compress and like start scratching like this way, yeah, surely there will be a mark over there. Okay. And this anti glare one, you can review it 24 bar 7. We've got all those certifications with us. So you can view it 24 bar 7 and I think nothing will happen. And I told you this is a 170 degree UV angle. And so 4K panel. It's a 4K panel with a like you no know, seven layers of toughened glasses. Inside this, there are seven layers of toughened glasses. Okay. So like you no, know, the first layer which emits light. Like no, again after that there are around thin thin layer of seven glasses. So that's why I said level even affects your like no eyes at all when you are watching it 24 bar side. Okay, so these are the features of this panel. <laughs> Apart from that, there are uh, like no, there are many ports are there. Like no, there are three HDMI ports, three VGA ports. There are seven USB ports. Then apart from that, there is audio port, RJ45, LAN, and everything. We will see as a few ports would be over here itself, like this. And after that, you will get all many ports behind that. Okay, so you can connect many devices. For example, you can connect your podium, you can connect like, you know, your cameras, your other devices with HDMI and VGA and all those ports. I think. Okay, and then this is uh, the size which you are seeing here is for the 86 inch size. Okay, 86 inch diagonally, this panel is okay. And we will give you a software which is called Note Software. You can see it. Now, this software is a proprietary software of Petron which was allows you to write, draw, annotate. You know, show videos, then capture from live videos, write on the live videos, annotate on live videos, everything. I will be showing well as I'm going through the demo session. Okay. So this is the note software which we write, okay, and which will give you okay, just click like this, it will show you like this. Okay. Apart from this, if you want to change your backgrounds, you can always change whatever backgrounds you want. These are the colors of background, or you can put your new colors of background. For example, say if you want a whiteboard, you just click it there, you get a whiteboard. If uh, many of them are preferred with black, you can just have a black board like this. So you can keep changing whatever board color you want to be. Okay, this is one thing. Now I'll be showing you all these small tools, how you can write, on, write, draw, and annotate everything. This first one is called the pen tool. Over here, this is called the pen tool, and there are seven different types of pens over here. Okay. The first one is called hard nib, where you can just select it over here. You can increase or decrease the thickness, whatever you want. And you can just select whatever color you want, which is over here, and you can start writing on that. Yes. Okay. We give you a pen like this way, okay, every turn, and you can always select like, no, it's a magnetic pen, you can keep it over here. Okay, apart from that, you can use even your finger as well. This is a finger touch pen, as I told And it's a multi-touch. Simultaneously, 10 of them can write on this panel over here. You know, 10 people can write on this panel. Okay. Now these are the different type of pens which I told you. Okay. Now this is called the paint uh, brush pen where you can like you know, if you want to draw anything, you can just draw like this way. Then the other one is the highlighter. For example, if you want to highlight any text or tools, you, know, you can just highlight like this. This one can be done in your PDF or PPT or anything like that, which you can highlight. And apart from that, like you know, there is Chinese where you can just draw any like you no know, diagram if you want like this way. You know, this is just a and type of a pen if you want to draw it this way. Okay, so these are different type of pens. This is called the stamp pen. For example, say if whenever you want to have any quiz or want to have some few question uh, that's on I think, where if you see if you write the answer first, like no, I just write it, you see after a few seconds, this vanishes. Okay, so this is called the magic pen over here. After a few seconds, it vanishes, and then you can start like no, like going into the question now and everything. Then the last pen is called the stamp pen, which for example, we give all default stamps over here. Or apart from that, if you have it, like, you know, if you want to bring any images or diagrams or anything into this, you can just click this plus mark over here, like, you know, you get it and wherever you store that, wherever you store it, if there's a picture or image over here, just click on this, say open, it will directly open. And now, now I don't have any page, so I will so I will just use the inbuilt stamp over here. For example, say if I just bring a stamp, any image or something like this, so I just click it this. By a single click, I get an image like this. And by just dragging it, I get multiple copies like this. Okay, if you want like no multiple copies, everything coming, this is where it is. This is I've just taken default images from here. But apart from that, as I told you, if you want to bring any images, like let it be from the live video or from the PPT or anything, you just want to explain about that images. You can go to this plus mark, it will come to whichever folder you have saved it, and you can just click on that this way. By a single click, you get the image like this by just dragging it. 
you get multiple images. By just dragging it, you get multiple images like this. Okay, so these are the pen type of tools, seven to ten pen tools. The last pen is called the gradation pen, where you can select any two colors, or you can add your you know, individual colors or something like that, and whatever you are write on it, it should be like a gradation type of like this. You can write in a two pen ink type of this. Okay. So these are the different pen types, which is here. There are seven different pen types. Okay, over here. Now the next I will be showing you is the eraser. For example, say there are three, three different type of erasers over here. One, the first one is called normally is called the duster type, where you can just like you no, know, just erase it like this way. It will start erasing. The next one is called, for example, say if I just want to erase this one, I just circle like this way, get erase, or I just click on this, it gets erase. This is called the area type. Then if you say, if in case you want to clear the full page at one go, then what you do is just slide this from the left to right like this way, and the full page is deleted. Or if you want to get back, all you do is undo and redo these buttons like this way, you get everything back. If you want to erase it again, just go over here, one right click, and everything gets erased. So, so far, any, like, no, you want me to repeat any pens or something like that? Yeah, directly from internet, that I'll show you capture one, ma'am. So, directly from internet in a sense, but then there's no net. Can I take this much? I need it. Like this, you go here, just click this. Now I just save it on my desktop over here. I'll get this image here. Click it, say open. By a single click, I get the image. And I'm just it up. Okay. You have to save it on your desktop first. Wherever you come, that's why it lasts for the path. So once you get to this path, you go up and So, like this, for example, this is as I told you, this is the path that where I can just use it for writing. It's not the same thing, you can even increase your thickness also by increase like this, you see, I get it like this. So these are the thicknesses which you can increase, whatever you want, increase your color, you can change. For example, I just take this color. Whatever color you can change, you can just change it. Okay. And then this is, again, if you want to draw anything, this is for highlighting, if you want to highlight anything. Okay, this is for, again, drawing pen, it's called like not you want, you just want to draw anything like that. Then this is a stamp pen. If you're writing any answers, it gets vanished after a little while. Okay, then this is the stamp pen as I showed you an image which you can just drag it. And this is the gradation pen which you can use any two colors and you can start writing like this. Then the eraser, where this is called the duster type. This is the area wise, whatever you want to write, and this is the full page one. If you just click like that, the full page gets. Okay. Now another type of eraser is where your finger becomes like you no know, a pen and your palm becomes your eraser. This is also another type of erasing which you can do is where your finger is your pen and if you do like this way with your palm, where it becomes an eraser, you can just clear it anywhere you want. Okay, this is called the AI, artificial intelligence, where like you no, know, where you just show your palm and the eraser come and you can start erasing. So these are the different type of tools which I showed you. Okay. The next one is called the shape tools. 
For example, this is all our inbuilt shapes which are here. Okay, like this, this first one is called the shape recognition tool. For example, say for a lay person like me, if you ask me to draw a circle, I just draw a rough circle like this way, you see it takes its shape. Even any teacher, if they want to just draw a triangle, they can just draw a, like, you know, a rough triangle and it takes its shape. The first one is called the shape recognition. Apart from that, the next one is called you know, inbuilt shapes are over there, which you can just click over here, but a single click, you get a image coming. Whatever image you want, you can just take it like that way. Say if I take a square, a single drag like this, I can make a square. Then if in case if I want to fill the colors, if I want to fill the colors, as I just click on this, you see these three marks over here, just click it. If you want to increase the thickness of the image, you can just increase whatever thickness you want. If you want to fill a color, whatever color you want, you can fill. And then if you want to make a copies, you can just click on this one and just like that. It's an endless one, sorry. I click on this and I can just drag endless number of copies or whatever copies I want. I can just drag and put it like this way. You just click on this one and then the number of copies you click this, obviously it gets deleted. Again, you can take another image, click on this, click copy, so you can take another image from this. So these are the different type of shapes which you can do. For example, this is called the shape recognition tool. By selecting this, you can just draw any freehand circles, like any freehand shapes, it will take its color, like its shape. And then the next one, you use the inbuilt, this one, where you can just click that. And these are all the connecting tools. For example, say if you want to use a connecting tool like this, again from here you want to use a connecting tool like this, you can start using these connecting tools over here. Okay, these are your, these are connecting tools and this if you want to fill the you know, outer lines or something like this, you can just click on this and then you can fill the outer lines. And then the next tool is called the toggle tool. For example, now we know toggle tool. Yeah, this is called the toggle tool. Now this is an example of where you, your blackboard and your marker board comes. Let's say if you are using a blackboard and if you are written right from left to right and top to bottom, you are written everywhere with some equations or some formulas or something like that. Now if you want to go again, write anything, what you have to do, you have to erase one part of it and then you have to start writing over there wherever you erase. But in this interactive panel, it's nothing like that. For example, say if I am going to, I just take a black pen. I'm just going to write as I say some equation right from top to bottom or from my left to right. I'm just written everywhere, right, top, bottom, everywhere I've written and it's full now. Normally in a blackboard or a marker board, either you have to erase one part of it and then start writing. But in this panel is nothing like that. You can use this toggle tool over here. Just move the page up like this way and you can start writing again. And this is also endless. Just keep moving. Like now this is endless. How many ever you want, you can keep writing. And if you want to look at everything, all you have to do is just click on like this way. Sorry. Click like this way. And yeah. And you can just move it like this way, you see. Imagine I've used three pages. So the number of pages that we keep using is endless as well. You know, again, I can just use this toggle over here. Just move it up like this and I can start writing again. Just click it and then drag it again. It comes over here like this. So imagine you are only really think that this is just an 86 inch diagonal of the board, but actually it is not, it is more. I used the variable in 1, 2, 3, I 4. I used 4 number of pages. Like that you can just use this and keep moving up and down on the one. Now this is one page which I am using. Apart from that you see here I have used 5 pages. Now all these pages are automatically being saved over here. Okay. So now say after the one hour of your class or something, any students has a doubt on page, like on page number 3. You can directly go to page number 3, toggle on page number 3, page number 3 will come here and you can start discussing with them. Or if they want page number 2, you can keep toggling over here between these pages, whatever pages you want. These are automatic save. But apart from that, yes, at the end of the session, the teachers, they have to do save as. Over here, there's a save as option. You have to do save as option. Now, save as option will only save the file in this original, like on the original extension. Okay, that is, like on the note extension. But the teacher, if you want to send the files to students or to a, like, you know, whoever wants uh, notes or something, that time what you'll have to do, you'll have to do the export option. Now, export option, it can save in four different formats. One is the word format, then the image format, PPT and PDF. Now, for example, say if I just, like, you know, I did seven pages over here. Now, I just exported two PDF over here. It will ask where you want me to save. 
I say on my desktop, I just give this name whatever name you want and say save over here. Now it's automatically saving all these seven pages which I have done. Okay. So now I just close this page over here. Okay. Now you see the pages saved. Start. The page is saved here in my PDF over here. If I open this, now whatever I have done here, it is automatically being saved. See? All the seven pages. So then you can, like now, for example, the teacher, they can use this one, like now, might be for the revision after whenever you're having revision classes, or might be for next academic year. Like now, you can just use this file for some. This is, like now, in the PDF, like that, you can save it in four different formats over there. As I told you, image format, word format, PPT, and PDF. Four different type of formats you can use this one. So, so far, any doubts, any clear, or want me to show any clues once again? Hello. Sir, sir, only one thing. Yeah. How to change the background color? So Changing the that. background, background color means this board. Yeah, yeah, board, board, board. Yeah. yeah, that you have to go here, sir. The setting over here, there is subject, background, solid colors. Settings. Settings. Okay, you can see this, this is called the setting tools. Click on this, then you go to background, solid colors. You get different type of background, whatever background you want. Apart from that, even if you want to make your own color, just click like this. You can make your own color, name it, and then you can save it. Okay? And that is one thing. Now, yes? So just list out the uh, names of the uh, pages that uh, they have been Over here? Yes. Yeah. See, these are, this is called the pen tool. Okay? The pen tool, there are seven different type of pens. Okay, that is, you got your um, like now, art brush pen. Then you add, uh, another is paint brush. This is highlighter. This is for drawing. This is called laser. This is stamp, and this is gradation. There are seven different type of pens over there. Okay. Then the eraser is there. For example, there are three type of eraser. As I told you, one is called the duster type, where normally whatever you write like this way over here, you can just select this. This is called the duster type. Then the second one is called the area wise. For example, say I only select this, only this will get erased. And the next by just sliding it to my right, the full page, the full page, whatever you'll get, gets deleted at a single go. Then apart from that, as I told you, the other eraser is where your finger is your pen and your palm is your eraser. This is the fourth type of eraser. Now this eraser, you will not get it here. You will not get it here because this is called the artificial intelligence where you have to keep your palm, you know, select the pen, if not, then keep your palm, it becomes an eraser. But you select this and you keep your palm, it will not become an eraser. Okay, you have to select this pen first. Because why your finger becomes your pen and then the palm becomes your... So how can you use multiple uh, one-side keeping, one-side that you Yeah, that I'll show you. That will just stop. Slowly I will come to that. that is <coughs> Say if in case of that day I don't know if all the uh, like you know the branches will have a centralized generator or UPS or something like that. But if in case your classroom does not have a like you know, UPS facility or classroom, say if the power goes off, okay, that time what will happen? The full windows will get shut down. But whatever you are doing in your note software is an auto save one. We will get a like you know, a dialogue box like this way whenever the power comes on. And when you open your net, when you open your note software, okay, that time you can just say, let me remind me next time, or if you wanted to get it cleared, you can get it cleared, or remind me next time, whenever you open a file, like whatever you did previous time, that will automatically get saved and it will open. Okay, this is one where I would just like to tell you, good luck with that one. Okay. Now, the next tool I'll be showing you is called the handwriting recognition tool. Now, this is called, if you see this, a mark over here. This is called the handwriting recognition tool. Now, in this tool, for example, whatever I write here, you see, like not, it can be, I'm just writing a word over here, but this can be as a sentence or whatever you're writing on this, it starts like not converting into a text file. 
okay, like this text file, and not only it can even like you know, convert it into handwriting recognition, it can even read the full sentence, whatever you Hello. Like. You know, whatever you write. You know, for example, you write India is my country, whatever you are writing. But this is only in English. Okay? Because uh, whenever I tell this, everybody asks whether it's happening in Canada, Tamil, Hindi, no. It only happens in English because Windows is a, is a where you can just click like this, you know, just select this, click on this one, you see this option over here, just click this and say read. Hello. It will start reading the full text for you. Okay? And this option you'll get in this option over here, which is called and writing the expression to select this and whatever you write over here. So, you So I'll just brief you all two once again. These are the pen tools. This is the eraser tool. This is called the shape tool. So you can see different type of shapes will come over here. Then this is called the toggle tool, and this is the handwriting recognition tool. So these are the six tools over here, and this last one you can see. I mean, you are see is this is obviously the undo, you know, redo and undo tools, redo and undo tools. So these are the tools, and then next one I told you all is this is a different type of pages. Like now, this is also, for example, like now I can keep, like now keep name and page. Let's say hand. Then I take that page number two. Again, I hand. That's a page number three, and this is also endless number of pages which I can keep adding over here. Like now, it can just keep going on and on and on. Okay, and I will, since I'm just here, I will just show you about these. Okay, these tools, like now, where whichever format you are wanted in, you can just put it over here. For example, say if it's like this, it will show a format like this. Then I just push the second page, the second page will come over here. Like now, these are the different type of formats which you can use over here. So, like this. Okay. Then apart from that, as I told you, this we want to keep adding pages. Pages will get added over here. These are just the additional features which they give over here. Normally, you all are the university, I doubt you all be using it, but normally this will be used for school purposes. For example, say if, it's a, if a school is having any competition where they want to like, acknowledge some person, for example, now we are at a meeting over here. Now, if I ask everybody to clap, not many will be clapping, but LED can do that also. If I just click applause, like this. For example, now even if you want to give some indication, like now full class, please stay quiet. You want to give a bell indication, you can just give a bell indication like this way. A bell starts ringing. Like now, these uses, I mean, you all can use it, but then still it's used for kindergarten class. Now, say if I hear a single bell, all please stand up. I just click this, everybody stands, I click it again, everybody sits, everybody sits. So these are the formats which you will use, and these formats are all for PPT formats. For example, if you want your slide to come from top, from bottom, from left, right, they're not these type of tools which you can use over here. Okay? So this is where I told you all, this is the seven tools which I explained to you all, and then the pages which I explained to you all. Okay? So, so far any doubts? Before I can go to the next stage. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm coming to the next part of the panel is these tools. Okay. Now normal these tools you can see over here, this is Normal hour, you get your computer file, you can open new, you can open the previous uh, file which are already saved, or you can save, save as. Okay? This, if you want to import any like, content from any, uh, might be from your net or from your desktop, from your laptop, if you want to import. Okay. Now, this is the export one. As I told you, you can save it in different formats. This is the export format. Okay. Then, apart from that, you want to give direct print. Then settings is where if you want to do any additional settings for your, for example, it might be whenever you're opening the note software, you don't want this color to be done, you want some other color to be done over here, you can just select any colors over here. So if you want any assistance from the PPT, all these settings are there, which you can avail. In fact, this is a little bit technically, you all may not be using it, but yes, if anybody wants any help, you can always call me or call Sunil, I'll be in touch with Sunil. 
Like, no, I can help you all out in this one. This is just to enhance your PPT over here. This is called the setting tools. Okay. Then apart from that, there's help tool. You know, if you go to help tool, you will get out to the, you'll work manuals over here. If I want to see how to use the panel in detail, how I'm explaining to you all, like, no, tool by tool, tool by tool. You will go to help tool over here. You will get the user manual there. Or if in case if you want any to find out any updates are there in the software, you know, if you have got the internet, you will just click on this update, automatically the update will happen. And whatever this you know, the content or the, uh, the tools which they are updated in Spectrum will automatically be updated to your over here. Okay. And then this is called the mode. There are different type of mode. This I'll just come to you a little later on. Because this is teaching mode, preparation mode, and desktop mode. This mode one I'll come to you a little later on. Okay, this is the first one over here, like this. Okay. Now the second one is called the desktop annotation. If you can see this desktop over here, if you click this desktop annotation over here, you will get a kind of a you know, screen like this. Now this is a window screen over here. Okay. Now this is almost like your either your laptop or your desktop. Okay. Now with your window screen. With the help of these tools, I can start conducting a class. Now, say with the help of these tools, and might be your PPT. You are having a PPT present, you have a PowerPoint presentation, or might be Word, PDF, Excel, whatever it is. You can just come with bring in a pen drive, put it over here, and bring it to the panel over here. And, uh, can I open any? Uh, anyone can you open one? For example, say I just open a PPT like this over here. Okay, this is a PPT over here. It's for the graphic. And then I make a presentation like this. Now, see with the help of the tools, like now I can start like annotating on. So these are the colors, thickness, whatever color I want. I can start annotating on this tool over here. Like this. As I do, okay. Now this you all can do it. And whatever you, now, for example, your original PPT will always be saved as original PPT. And plus whatever you are doing here, annotating over here, you all can even save that also. Okay. So your original PPT, you can only have it where you want to add additional pages. But then you want to explain to the students, you can you open your PPT with the help of these tools over here like this way. You can start annotating on this like this way. Okay. Then if you want to go to the next page, I can just like you know, file a switch like this way. I go to the next page. So I go through like this, I go to the previous page. You can just use this pen, any side of the pen, just move like this way. So I can be going to the next page over here. As I told you, see for example, this is over here. Okay. Now I'll use this tool over the pen over here, and I can start annotating on this. Now this is very important. This is important. Those type of things I can start annotating over here. Then apart from as a user eraser, if you want to start erasing over here, you can start erasing. And this is called the setting tools. Now, for example, say uh, setting tools are different type of tools over here. Okay, this first one is called the additional board. Now say if you have a formula or you have some theory over here. Now you want to explain this theory. Then you can use this over here and go to the setting tool. You can just open a page like this. You see additional board will come over here. So your PPT will be over there. For example, your PPT will be over here. Plus I can use this additional board and I can start like not annotating on this itself, so I can start explaining actually what is this. For example, say this. Okay. You can use this as your start zone, and you can start explaining it over your sit here also. I can start explaining it over your like this. So this is the additional board which you can use over here. Then apart from that, you can use, for example, this is called the spotlight tool, where whenever you are showing a video or something like that. Say you are trying to explain, you are not only the students to concentrate on you on this particular part of this. This is called the spotlight tool over here, where you can increase and decrease the size, whatever size you want, and then you can start moving it whichever page you want. This is called the spotlight tool. Okay. Now the next tool I wish right now is called the now for example, say like this a video is playing or some text is playing. Okay. Now you are going to explain about this video or text over here. So as you are trying to explain, now most of the students, what they will do, the video is playing, they will start concentrating on the video and not what you are trying to tell. So that time you, are, you will get the attention first by like, now let them listen to me first. So what you will do is that time is your video will be playing actually. Then you can use this tool over here, which is called the 
reveal our truth, just click it like this, like now the full screen becomes black. Actually, the video will be playing behind OBS. Slowly, the video will be playing slowly, but then you can start explaining initially to them what exactly you have to show. As you're explaining, you can start, like now, showing it to them slowly like this. For example, now this is the first part of the content. Now I'll explain to you all about this. So you can start explaining. Now then I'll go to the second content of this. Then I'll start, I'll, after here is the second content. So I'll just close it up to here. Now I'll start explaining. You know, it can be either from any side, right from the left to the right, or from top to bottom. It can be done like this way always. So this is called the revealer tool. Okay. Now the next tool I'll be showing you all is called the let me know where it's called a snapshot tool. I mean, this I'll show you over here. Again, I don't have a video. Video is here. Video is here. Video is here. Video is here.
but you keep one part of it just like this way, and might be the other part you are working on with you. Whatever. I'm just opening this since this is here. Or you want PPT inside? And keep your PPT over here like this way, and then start this way. This is all your PPT. This is icon. Icon, you will get. See, normally icon, you can all want to see it. Oh, you get it over here. Okay. Not this one, sir. The sliding one, you should say the formula to write the formula. Yeah. Sir, like sliding one, you showed that off in the short, like certain, no? It's not certain, all PPT. It's not the PPT. It's a like so. One second, I'll just change. Okay, now I'm in the tools, okay, and I'm open up PPT. Okay, then? Then, like so. Like you brought like up like another like board there to write a formula, like so. Now we have the type of extra sheet. Like you want an extra board. Yes, extra board. Yeah, click it over here. This is the first one, which is called the extra board. It is in settings, sir. It's in settings. You can see the settings over here. You click this first thing, you get is that one. The extra board. Okay. Over here. This is the extra board. Okay. Then, as usual, you've got your timer. If you just want to just time your class, you can just keep it over here. You can just time your class. You have 45 minutes or one hour of your time classes. Then you can keep it over here, timing of the class you are showing. Okay, like this, different type of tools are there. Okay, so you can just okay, so this is one which I have to show you is the desktop tool. Okay, so any clarification on these desktop tools? So I can go forward but next time we went to the next mode. Can you come in here? Which one? Yes, sir, you can come and write, sir, because I am very bad at information, to be honest. <laughs> very, very bad at information. So let us start. For example, if you want the equation, I just keep on the page over here. If anybody wants to come in right, I'm very bad at the page because I'm just a trainer. If anybody wants to use it, I will want to write. Oh, I just write A to B, whatever that is, I keep writing A plus B plus C. Then I'll go D, I'll keep writing whatever this is. Then I'll keep writing and then I can keep moving this page up like this way and I can start. Writing again, whatever it is. So, this is what we want to see, right? In order to represent some symbols. Uh, symbols, that's what I told you, sir. Symbols, what you can do is, in fact, you go over here. Okay, I'll just come to that. Now, say if you're the mathematics teacher, you can just click on this one, you'll get tools accordingly. Okay, for example, there are different types of tools. They don't say these are different types of tools. If you want to just draw a diagram like this way, you can start explaining. If you are a kind of a, a chemistry or biology teacher, you are going to use these type of equations. Then, like, no, you all get like, no, charts like this, which you can get. Like, no, you can start explaining different type. Or if I want to go over here, if I want to full pie chart, you are just clicking the setting, so you will get a full pie like this. No? If you are able to. Yeah. So, each intuitive teacher, they can either tell you, they can even get their own like, no, content, bring in the pen drive. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. Graph. Graphs, you will get it, but that also I some graphs. I mean, I should come there next, but then since you're asking, I'm going to show you also. Subject feature here, background feature. This is graphs. Calculator. Sir? Calculator, that's in a different settings where you have to go to this settings. I mean, calculator will not be here, that is normally your Windows type of a setting. Okay, you go here, you just click it over here, you just try to calculate that way. That's a window set. You'll get the calculator. Just click it, you get the calculator. So 
So do you have any other calculations? Yeah, put the table You can try this. With your free end, you can try this as well. I didn't get you. You can come show it to me. No, no, that will not happen. Yeah, only word, only word, only the part of it. Yes, yes. 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 Yes, no, that, that will not happen. The table is only text formats. These are only text formats. Yes. Yes. Okay, so any doubts so far? Any copy paste options available? Yeah, copy paste options are available. Any text in the world or in the PDF, how we can copy that text into the. No, PDF you cannot copy because PDF will serve when will not copy. In Word? Word you can copy. You can copy, for example, once you copy anything, you can just copy it, then come over here, or for example, you just do a long press. Now you get your text, whatever text you want, you can just select it from here and you can check it. Or you can copy paste as well. From Word to here. Okay. Word document. Yeah, you have to say if it's a Word document, I'm opening a Word document. Now I just copy this, but I don't know whether this is editable. No, that is not happening, sir. From the from words to PDF is not happening. You can't copy it this way. So now we go to the uh, next tools. Just. For example, this is called the settings tools. First one is called the subject tools. For example, as I told you, subject tools are different type of backgrounds which you can use. Okay. Then there are disciplinary backgrounds over here. For example, if you want a graph page, or if you want a first line page, if you want a four line page, if you want a music page. Like that, even teachers can bring their you know, own type of uh, subject uh, background, put it in the pen drive, bring it here, and you can drag it, keep it open. Like you know, every subject will be here. So, if you want us, uh, like, you know, just a normal background, just put a normal background like this. Then there are like this different type of default backgrounds over here. Whenever you are like, you know, wanting to 
Like now welcome somebody or wish somebody, you can use backgrounds like this way over here and start writing the name. Like now these are the different type of backgrounds over here. As I told you, customized background is where the like not specified specified like not uh, subject teachers can bring their own background, bring it to pen drive, put it here, bring it over here, and just from here you just drag and click it, and it will come back on the main page over here. Okay, this is one type of a background changing over here. Now the second one is called the disciplinary tool. Now in disciplinary tool we have just defined few subjects over here. Okay, we have just defined a few subjects over here where I can do some article, article improvement or some like you no know, anime, animation okay? but yes individual teachers you can like you no know, do your animations everything so like come from the PPT itself bring it to pen drive put it here and you can directly bring it here as you are dragging clicking the animations will happen I just show you a few animations for example say I am a chemistry teacher I just take a beaker over here like this way then I take a sink yeah I take a sink over here I just keep it water wherever I want I can like not enlarge and make it big, make it small like this way. Okay, so if I want to empty this liquid, all I have to do is just rotate it like this way, and I can start emptying this liquid over here. Now, say if I want to do a small experiment, I keep the flask over there, then I can take a tripod stand over here, keep it like this way. Like no, these are a small type of experiment which I can do. For example, I'll take a lamp, with a lamp also. I'll take a lamp, I'll keep it over here like this. I can make the lamp to glow. Yeah, I can make the lamp to glow. Okay. And then I'll say as the eating happens, as the eating happens, for example, now this is this color as the eating happens, I can even like, no, change the color into red, and then I can make it, I can say after eating happens, this turns into H2SO4. Like no, these type of animations I can start doing. Same thing with my like no, flask. If I make a flask over here, I'll keep a flask over here. You see, if I rotate it like this way, the liquid forms, right? I can refill the liquid, I can put a cap to this. Now you see, I keep rotating the liquid, does not fall over here like this, okay? So these type of uh, animations which I can do. Same thing, like, you know, we are just defined as few subjects, but as I told you, each teacher can, you know, do their own type of uh, this. For example, say there's a discipline over here, physics, I'll just take a bulb, I'll keep uh, like a battery over here, okay? I'll just take a like no a black wire from here to here I connect again I take a red wire from here to here I connect and then once I connect the light goes like no these type of animations which you can do then then the next subject is for example max entomology or you want to do I'm just giving you all the basics say if it's a max for example, I'll take a compass like this way, I can increase and decrease the size, and if I want to draw a circle, all I have to do is just draw a circle like this, or I can make it more big, again I can draw another circle. So these are the type of animations which I can do. The same thing with ruler as well, and then the protractor is there, you know, say for protractor, I can make it, you know, small or big like this way, whatever size I want, wherever I want to move it, whichever I, I want to move it. If I want to move it here, I just click over here. If I want to make an angle, all I have to do is just click like this way, put it at 60 degrees, say right, and my 60 degree angle is. So these are type of animations which you can do. Okay, there's physics, chemistry, there's physics. Let that each teacher can you know, do their own content, bring it to pen drive, put it over here, and you can get it. So then there are different type of tools. These are the tools which I already explained to you all. Like now, writing board tool, clock tool, calendar, magnifier, mask, and then you know, screenshots. Screenshot also, I just showed it to you like this. Like now, where you can take screenshots and everything. Okay. Now, apart from that, if you want to browse the net directly with the software itself, you can directly browse your net and then you can show the video as you are showing the videos. Like now, where you can start typing over here. Browsing the net directly, I can open a video like this over here, and as you do the screen, I can start and I can 
know there's no metro wheels are not able to open either your YouTube or your own, you know, USA website or something like that. I can directly open it here and I can start annotating and I can start doing it for me. So these are the tools which you can. Then apart from that, like director, these are the different type of tools over here. For example, if are, again you get different type of tools over here. As I told you, if you are a max student, you'll get like this a max teacher, I'll get different type of tools over here. If you are a English teacher, you get tools like this way. Okay. If you are a, either a physics teacher, you get different type of physics tools like this way. You can see all the tools will be changing over here. It's almost the same only, only like now you are you are writing through all these, you are erasing all these tools. Only I'll have a few different tools where each subject teacher will have that subject tools over here. Say if you are a chemistry teacher, as I told you, these are the chemistry to, uh, like, no, equations over here. Apart from that, this is your general notes of So, so far I almost you know, cleared everything. So any doubts or any clarifications? To operate this note software, you need a small <coughs> to operate that, they can have do it on the desktop and uh, later on you can do it easily on the board. Yeah, you can do. If you have a desktop, which one you talking about? Which one? Note, note. No, note, no. Note is only on the Spectrum software. <coughs> you can, you mean you can download a, a like a cracked version, but that will have only a fifteen days or thirty days trial period. After that, you are only able to download. Like a thirty fifteen days trial period is there. You can like not do that thirty day or can learn everything, and then this is a proprietary software which you get only in this panel. Yes, sir. Can we record the class, the whole class, like yes, including the voice and all? Yeah, you can record. So once you have a camera and a mic like this way, you can record your class. You can record. In fact, there's no net. That's why we are not able to. Otherwise, you are recording. All you have to do is have a camera either in front of you or above you, and you can start stream sharing, and then you can start recording. Different types of clothes. <laughs> What about mobile? Sir? Can we connect our mobile to the? Uh, yeah, you are, can connect with your mobile if you are go in the Android mode. So this is the Android mode. This is a call a screen share pro app, sir. You'll have to download this on your mobile. Okay? Either your mobile or your laptop or anything. Then it will like now once the net is up, you can have code over here. Okay, once the code comes, like now you can just put it on your like now on your mobile like this and you can go. Scholar code, sir. Sure. The name of the software. Yeah, it's a screen 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 screen
or logo. This type of a logo you'll have to see. Once you'll get it, then like no, it'll automatically ask your like your name and everything. So once you go to it, then when the internet comes, you'll get a six-digit code over here. You have to like, not download the code, and then once you download it, you can mirror either your laptop or your mobile, anything like that, you can start mirroring. Okay. So that is, as I told you, this is, this is your, like, no, for example, this is the Android version now which I'm showing you. Okay. Now there are, in this, in this panel, there are two type of platforms. One is the Android and the other is the OPS. So long what I showed you all, everything is the OPS version. Okay. Now say suddenly if your OPS, like OPS means it's your computer. Okay, and your computer will be over here, sir. You can see these two having this antenna over here, there are two antennas over here. Now this is the size of your computer and it is detachable. You can take it out from this panel. Now say why you will take it out whenever your computer like now there is some problem. Like that might be virus attack with virus or crashed or something like that, where you won't be able to open your OPS. Okay, you'll have to give it for service. That time your class don't have to stop. Okay, your class can still go on with the Android mode. Now Android mode is add a limited features. In a sense, even the storage also is a limited storage. Even the tools also is a limited tool. For example, there is a note tool over here. You can see here. You can always open that note tool also, and you can conduct your class. Your class don't have to stop till your PC come. Might be your PC will might come after two days or after one week or something after service. So still that your class don't have to stop. You can go in the Android mode. And I can still conduct your classes. For example, see these are italic only the limited tools over here. We can just select that can start conducting your class over here. This is the Android mode. All the same. There are the only thing is there are limited features over here. If you see node software in OPS form, there were like no, seven different type of pens, three, six, uh, four different type of erasers. But in this, you will have only three there are limited features. Three pens, then even eraser also it will be just limited eraser. For example, you can only erase it like this way. Like now, I can just click it. Then there are shape tools over here, different type of shape tools, 3D shape tools, 2D shape tools. Like now, I can just click it like this way, you get shapes like this way. Then this is the tool which you can like now move up the page. These all are limited features, and whatever is here, you can start using it. Same thing, save as, import, export, all it, but a limited feature of the original version. This is the Android version. And in 